Fuck politics. I usually don't get into politics much, but even this shit I have to talk about. Ron Paul being excluded from the presidential forum in Iowa. Now, I'm not a supporter of any of the candidates, but I do support the right for them to want to fight for our vote. And the fact that this man has been excluded from even debating is a bunch of bullshit. Freedom of speech, my ass. This problem shouldn't be an issue just with Ron Paul supporters, but the general public. A candidate has basically been censored. So what, because people don't like what a candidate has to say, all of a sudden he has to be censored or excluded? Ron Paul has established himself well enough to contend for your vote. Just like every other candidate, whether you like it or not. I mean, the public should be rioting over this. What the fuck is the purpose of having candidates in the first place if we can't even hear them out? If this is the freaking case, then we should just allow the government to pick our candidates for us. Or not even fucking vote in the first place. Or even worse, not have an election, period. You see, bullshit like this gets me steamed. I mean, shit like this is the reason why I don't vote in the first place. But if you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain. Bullshit! I fucking pay taxes. If the fucking government is taking money out of your check and you're legally here and the money is going to the government themselves and you have the fucking right to complain no matter what. So the argument of not voting so you don't have the right to complain isn't fucking legit if the government is using your money. And I still can't believe to this day we say that we're in a democracy. We should use the word democracy with a grain of salt. The way things are run is, ex is exactly the freaking reason why I don't vote and I refuse to vote. But every vote counts. Bullshit. Votes count my ass. If that's the fucking case, then how the hell does Al Gore lose with a 500,000 vote lead in the last election? Hell, even if a candidate wins a popularity vote, they can still lose via the electoral college. That means, theoretically speaking, that a candidate can still lose the election even if they win 99.9% .9 of the vote. They could still lose via the Electoral College. I thought the freaking people were supposed to pick candidates and the president. But an election can be decided by only one vote. That's why every vote counts. Well, if that's the case, I say otherwise. So let's say that we have politician A and politician B trying to contend for your vote to become president of the United States. Hi, I'm your average white collar middle American politic. Hi, I'm your middle American suburban religious candidate. So let's say that I vote for politician A and politician B wins by 200,000 votes. Then my vote never really mattered. Holy shit, I could have voted every day, once a day, 365 times and my vote would have still not mattered. It still wouldn't have made a difference. Because in the end, politician B was going to win anyway. So my vote really didn't matter at all. The way things are, it's just a bunch of bullshit. And, you know, we should, like, you know, get angry, go out, and just do something about it. Speak your mind. This isn't about who's running for the president or the candidates themselves. It's about who we are allowed to pick. We should be allowed to vote, and candidates should be allowed to speak their mind and try to win our votes. But the way things are looking, that may never be the case. We'll never know until the world changes.